Welcome to our Wednesday story time. I am so excited that you guys are all here. I hope that my computer is working and that you can all see me. Um, welcome to our Wednesday story time. I am so excited to be here today, especially because it is Earth Day and I have a really fun surprise for you guys uh, to do today. So what I'm going to do is I am going to wait until some... Um, to some people uh, sign in because I'd like people to sign in and give me your names and where you're from, the name of your child and where you're from. Because after we do our fun little Earth Day yoga poses, I'm going to maybe pick some people's names from the chat box and we're actually going to do some poses based on their names. So let's see who's here. Um, I don't know. Let me just see because um, I'd like to see who's here um, with us. And um, if people, hi, Teresa, it's um, Tracy and Alex. Hi, Tracy and Alex. Okay, so Tracy, can you do me a favor? Can you put in the um, in the chat box for people that are here the Earth Day video that I created? Because that would be fun for them to practice later on today is that Earth Day video. If you could give them the link to that, that would be fabulous. And um, I, for those of you that don't know, although hopefully you guys come every week, I have written the ABCs of Yoga for Kids, and we have been doing yoga poses from this book. Today, however, since it's Earth Day, I'm going to do something a little differently. I'm actually going to use my flashcards. Now, who of you has these flashcards at home or the book? If you have either of them at home, you can follow along. Otherwise, follow along with me. So, oh good. So here we've got some kids signing in there. Yay! Okay. So, oh my goodness, someone's from Croatia. That's so excited. And Canada? Okay, great. So, and then um, Ohio. So guys, are you guys ready to do some Earth Day yoga poses first? And then we'll do some spelling of names, all right? So I'm gonna use my flashcards and I'm gonna start by doing some creatures of the um, Earth to celebrate because we're celebrating Earth Day. Today's the 20th celebration of Earth Day. Can you believe it? So let's all start. I want you guys to all get on your mats and we're gonna start with the dolphin pose, okay? So I'm gonna read you the poem. And then I want you guys to uh, do the poses. So are you ready? Here we go. I am a dolphin who loves to swim in the sea. I sit on my heels with my arms stretched out in front of me. Straightening my legs, I keep my forearms on the floor. I look at my feet so my neck doesn't get sore. All right, so let's just do this dolphin pose. Are you guys all in it? Okay, good. So look down at your toes. It's very good stretch for your shoulders. It should feel very good. So let's pretend we're dolphins in the sea and let's count to five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Now slowly come back up into easy pose. All right. So after that big stretch, let's go back into easy pose. Here we go. Easy pose. So I like to relax in easy pose taking deep breaths in and out through my nose. With my legs crossed and my back straight, I continue to breathe while counting to eight. So let's just take a moment just to relax and unwind and be in the space that we're in right now. And let's practice our breathing. So let's count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, really nice job. All right, now there's another creature in the sea that I would like to do a pose for um, in celebration of Earth Day. And I want you guys to guess what it is. It starts with the letter S, okay, the letter S, and it has fins and it swims in the sea. What do you think it is? Starts with the letter S, swims in the sea, has a big fin coming out. What do you think it is? Anyone wanna guess? Let me just look down here. Oh good, Christy's here and she's ready. Okay, good. So if you guessed shark, you are right. So let's let's be sharks in celebration of Earth Day. Let's be sharks, all right? So here we go. Shark starts with the letter S. I am a stealthy shark cruising through the sea. I lie on my belly with my legs straight behind me. My fingers interlace as I lift my arms and chest. My fin can be seen by all as I ride a wave's crest. Now, I tell you guys every week that these, um, these are really good. These floor poses are good for your back, okay? If your back is strong, that means your whole nervous system is strong, and it's just really great. So let's reach our shark fins back, legs up, okay? Come on, everyone do it. Let, I'm watching. Let's do it. Four, 
Okay, we're going to count to eight. One, two, I'm watching you guys, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, great, great job. Okay, come all the way down. Now, it's important to rest after you do this because you, you're stretching your low back, right? So lie on your stomachs and put one, um, one, um, your head to one side, okay? And just rest there. Just rest on your stomachs just for a minute. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Great. All right. So let's come back into easy pose again. And the next pose we're going to do, so we've been celebrating those creatures that were in the sea. Now we're going to celebrate creatures that fly. What do you think that is? Starting with the letter B, it flaps its wings. Very pretty. It's a butterfly. Let's celebrate butterflies, okay? So here's how it goes. Bring the soles of your feet together. With the soles of my feet touching, I gaze straight ahead. My hands rest on my shoulders as my butterfly wings spread. Now, I love doing that butterfly song, okay? So let's all bring our hands on our shoulders and you guys sing it home with me, all right? We're gonna sing the butterfly pose. If you guys have been doing this every week, I think I've been doing it a lot, so we should get to know it. So let's do it. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Feels so good. Now flap your wings. Fly like a butterfly, fly. Cause sing along. Like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Good job. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Guy. Nice job. Oh, so good. All right. So the next one we're going to do to celebrate Mother Earth is another pose that's a winged creature that starts with the letter B as well. And they actually fly in the sky as well. What do you think it is? Starts with the letter B? What do you guys think? Hmm. What do you think? Um, well, it is actually a, let me just see what it is. It is a bird okay so i want you guys to stand up tall you ready all right high on my tiptoes i'm a bird preparing to fly flapping my wings repeatedly i give flying a try so let's flap our bird wings this time rather than our butterfly wings let's flap our bird wings up on your tiptoes and just get a nice stretch in your shoulders and let's flap our, our, our bird wings for one two three four, five. Nice job. All right. Come all the way down. Now we have one more pose that we're going to do to celebrate Earth Day before we get into spelling our names and playing a fun little game. So it is going to be the tree pose because you always hear about people planting trees in celebration of the Earth, right, of Earth Day. So let's practice the tree pose. All right. So here we go. T starts with letter T, tree pose. I am an old and solid tree. My roots grow deep into the ground beneath me. Bending one leg, I bring my foot to my thigh. Balancing can be tricky, but I'll give it a try. I focus my sight on a single spot. Yoga improves my concentration a lot. Now, here's, okay, I want you guys all back into the easy pose. Okay, all sitting in easy pose, breathing in and out through your nose. Now, here's a concentration game. that I just learned this this morning, actually, and it's really fun. So I decided I would play it with you guys. So what I did is I put together all the cards of the poses we just did. I'm going to test your guys' memory a bit. So I'm going to show you all the poses, right? Are you guys ready? And then I'm going to take one away, okay? And you guys have to decide which one I took away and show me by getting into that pose. This is really a fun game, okay? So here we go. So I'm going to show you all the poses we just did. So what did we do? Let me just um, fix my computer up a little bit. So we did the shark, the dolphin, the bird, the butterfly, and the tree, all right? So I want you to remember all those, okay? So commit them to memory. Are you guys ready? Got them all memorized? Because I'm going to take one away, and you need to do it and tell me which one it is, all right? So... Remember all those poses we just did. 
Now I'm going to show you this again, and you're going to you show me which pose is missing. Okay, it's kind of fun, kind of fun. All right. So which pose is missing? Okay, which one? Do you remember? All right. Now, anyone want to put it in the chat box for me? If they know which uh, pose is missing, and meanwhile, most of you are going to be the rest of you, or whoever wants to put it can. But um, let's just see which one is uh, missing. So the bird is here, though. See, the bird's not missing. We got the bird, we've got the shark, we've got the dolphin, and we've got the butterfly. What is missing? Are you guys doing the pose that's missing? I'll tell you. I'll give you a hint. The pose that's missing starts with the letter T. Tree. Yes, Natalie Red said tree. Good job. Okay, and someone else. Okay, Suzanne said tree. Okay, good. You guys are good. Now, I'm going to take another one away. This is kind of a fun little thing to do. All right, so I'm going to do it one more time. So we've got the shark, the dolphin, the bird, and the butterfly. Okay, I'm going to take one away. So it's good for your memory, right? And remember, I told you that yoga improves your concentration. Remember, we learned that with the tree pose. Okay, I'm going to take one away. Okay, are you ready? So I want you to show me, I want you to be doing the pose and then you can also put it in the chat box, but let's do the pose that's missing. All right, so what do we think is missing? So we have here the dolphin, the bird and the butterfly. So what do you think is missing? Okay, let's see, I don't know. What do you think is missing? Let me see if anyone knows. Oh, good, Umi said shark, you're right. The shark was missing. So are you guys all doing the shark pose? Okay, good job. Okay, so let's just take away one more and then we're gonna go get to spelling people's names. So we're gonna take away one more. So we've got the bird, the butterfly, and the dolphin. I'm gonna take one away. Okay, so keep your memory going and see which one I took away this time. Okay, let's just see. Which one am I gonna take away? Hmm, okay, here we go. We've got the dolphin and the butterfly. So which one did I take away? Hmm. I don't know. Which one did I take away? Are you guys doing it? Should be doing the pose. Let's see. Which one did I take away? What, what did I take away? <laughs> don't even remember. Shark. You're right. I took away the shark. You guys are really good. Wow. Okay. So that was so fun. Okay. So also I thought today in, in um, commemoration of um, Earth Day, remember my book, The ABCs of, of Yoga for Kids Around the World? So we're going to use this book to spell people's names, all right? So basically, this is an alphabet um, book of countries rather than um, names of the poses, okay? So let's get started. And um, I don't know why my, my um, screen's a little bit funny. Okay, so I'm going to go and look through some people's names. There's a lot of people here today. So we may just start with the first letter of your name, and then so we can get to a lot of people. So here, hello from... Um, Tula and um, Penelope in Ohio. Okay, so let's use, let's do their names. Let's do the first letter of their names, okay? Hi, guys. Um, good, I'm so glad you're here today. Um, so much fun. All right, so, so Tahula, what letter does her name start with? You can shout it out because you know. Um, I think it starts with the letter T. So let's see what letter in this book starts with the letter T. And you know what T is for? T is for Thailand. Wow. Look at that, T is for Thailand. And you know what's in Thailand? Thailand, there are cobra snakes in Thailand. So let's read about it, okay? So here we go. Um, let's see, I'm gonna read it here. All right, T is for Thailand. Okay, so Savadi Ka from Thailand, where the monarch cobra slithers through this tropical country in Southeast Asia, wow. Okay, so can you guys do the cobra pose? I'm gonna read you the poem and I want you to come down onto your tummies. It's a good one. It's a good stretch for your back, just like the shark we did earlier, okay? Hiss, hiss, I am a snake, lying on my belly in the sun to bake. Elbows bent and close by my side, I lift my chest full of cobra pride. Okay, are you guys doing it? T for, um, T for uh, Tahula. Nice, good job. Okay, so come back into easy pose. Remember how we always come back into easy pose to rest? And let's see, we've got Penelope, okay, from Ohio as well. So Penelope's name starts with what letter? Hmm, P, Penelope. Let's see what letter, what country starts with the letter P for Penelope. Okay, I'm gonna see what it is. Oh, this is good. You know what it is? It's P for Peru, wow. 
and we get to do the monkey pose. How fun is this? So I'm going to read this to you. Let's see if I'm going to read it this way. Um, the monkey pose, I'm going to read it to you, and then we will do it. So, Ola from Peru, where the tiny marmoset monkey can be found playing in the Peruvian and Amazon rainforest. Wow, can you guys see that? Cool. So the monkey pose, are you ready? I'm going to read you how to do it. Standing tall, I gaze straight ahead. My arms are raised sideways and wide spread. I am a monkey full of pride. Rotating right foot and slightly bending my knee, I bend my elbows and wrists and slowly count to three. My palms face upward towards the sky as I focus front and let my imagination fly. Wow. Okay, so can you guys do that monkey pose? Okay. Nice job. Okay, so, and I don't know if you guys noticed this, but in this book, like monkey starts with the letter M, but we're doing an alphabet book of, of countries. So the, the, um, the country starts with P, which was for Penelope. All right, so next we have, hello from Canada for um, Arya and Anya. Okay, so the two of you, both of your names start with the letter A. So let's see what is in this book for the letter A. Oh, A is for a great country. Can you guys think of a country that starts with A? There's a bunch of them, but this one in particular is Australia. And you know what's in Australia? Guess what? Koala bears. So we get to do the koala pose, which is so fun to do, you guys. So you get to crawl around like a koala. All right, so let's do this. So here we go, um, the koala pose. G'day from the land down under and home of the koala bear. So here's how you do the koala pose. Standing up with my hands and feet on the ground, I look forward, not making a sound. Next, I begin to walk using opposite hands and feet. Can you do that using opposite hands and feet? Uh, stretching my body is such a treat. Yes, it's a treat every week to work with you guys and to stretch your bodies like this. I bring my left leg forward and then my right arm. I am a koala full of charm. Have any of you guys been to Australia? Have any of you guys seen a, um, a koala? It could be even someone from Australia on this call right now. I don't know. Um, on this um, live stream. So, wow, that was so fun. All right. So, oh, look. Okay. Dragana, Dragana is from Croatia. Wow. Okay. Hi there. Oh, welcome. Okay. So let's see what starts with the letter D. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is a good one. D. Well, they're all good. I love all these countries. Okay. So D is for Denmark. And do you know what they have in Denmark? What is that? Anyone know what that is? That's a windmill. They have windmills in Denmark. Wow. So let's read about it. Denmark. D is for Denmark. Okay, it says Hedge from this Scandinavian country known for its whirling windmills. All right, so let's do the windmill pose. Standing with legs slightly bent and my feet wide apart, I bring one hand down to the ground in line with my heart. Sending my other arm up towards the sky, I extend it long and keep reaching up high. Switching arms on the count of three, I am a windmill twirling and carefree. Wow, you feel pretty good right now after doing that? Okay, so let's see who else. We're gonna just do the first letters because we've got a lot of people. Oh, look who we have here. We've got Myra from um, Victoria, British Columbia, yay. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, so uh, let's do Myra's name. And um, her name starts with what letter? What letter does it start with? Hmm, what do you think? The letter M, yes. All right, so let's see what. Okay, so we have two M's. One is for Malaysia, one is for Mexico. Now we've already done the shark pose earlier, so let's try a new pose, okay? Let's do M is for Mexico and let's do the turtle pose, okay? So let's try it. So let's do the um, M is for Mexico, all right? Ola from Mexico and it's sandy white beaches where sea turtles come to rest every year. Did you guys know that? I did not know that the sea turtles went to go to Mexico every year to rest. Wow. So now you guys can be sea turtles. Are you ready? I'm going to read the instructions. Turtle. From a seated position, I bend my knees and open my legs wide. 
to become a shy turtle carrying a shell in which to hide. With my feet flat on the floor, I bring my arms under my knees. Looking down towards my belly, I count one, two, three. Then slowly lifting my head out of my shell, I look up and see that the world around me is swell. It is, isn't it? It's, it's really, it's a beautiful day here today and we're all doing yoga together. It couldn't be happier. All right, so let's see who else. Um, okay, so, oh, Bo, Bodhi is here from Cleveland. Yay, okay, big smiley face. Hi, Bodhi. All right, so let's do a pose in your um, honor of your first name, which is B. So let's go and see what country is represented by the letter B. Okay, okay, this one is B is for Brazil. And that is the Rhea bird, okay? Uh, do you guys know about this Rhea bird? Well, you're gonna find out now. So let's like find out about it. Ola, from this Portuguese speaking country that is home for many kinds of beautiful birds, the largest of which is the Rhea bird. Is, uh, are my pronouncing it right? I don't know, W. Uh, it's R-H-E-A. All right, so let's try it. Okay, now this is gonna be a fun one and this is a nice stretch. So go slowly when I give you the instructions, all right? Rhea, to become a beautiful Rhea bird, I must be calm and centered. So you guys calm and centered? Be calm and centered. Standing tall, I bend one leg and bring my foot inside my thigh. Okay, so bend your leg and bring your foot inside your thigh. As I give balancing on one leg a try. Next, I tilt forward with my hands in prayer behind my back. So be careful if you need to hold on to something or, you know, for steady, be steady. Keeping my spine straight, not with a hunched back, so no hunched back. A wondrous flightless bird am I, balancing with my neck forward and my chin held up high. Okay, so, oh my God, you guys are beautiful Rhea birds. And this is such a nice stretch for your shoulders, for your legs. Now listen, I want you guys to switch sides, okay? Because it's important to do yoga on both sides of your body so you get even. So whatever leg, here, whatever leg you were on before, can you please split, switch sides? And, and, and imitate what she's doing, okay? So the opposite leg is bent a little bit and bringing that foot up, arms behind your back in prayer position. It's a fun one to try. So it's a very tough balancing, but if you practice it, you're gonna get really good at it. All right, let's see who else is here. Um, oh, okay, so go, we have people from all over the place. We've got Aubrey from New York. Now, let's see, Aubrey, we've already done Australia and then, um, so I'm going to see if there's another pose that we can do um, here from the ABCs of Yoga for Kids because we, we need another A. So let's see what um, starts with the letter A. Okay. Do you, okay, do you, Aubrey, want to choose, oh, let's see, which, this, which way do I go? Do you want to choose between the, um, let's see if I can make this easier for you guys to see, choose between the um, airplane and the alligator pose? Let me just scroll down and see if you want to choose uh, which one. Let's see. Which one do you want to do? Um, the airplane or the alligator? And this is for, I believe it's for Aubrey in New York. Is gonna If she's here still, let's see what she says. It's hard for me to go back and forth in these comments. If she doesn't tell us, I'll just pick one. But um, let's just see. And someone said, great book. I love it. I love that ABC yoga book. You're right. Okay, so let's just see anyone going to... Is she going to come on and tell us, Aubrey? Oh, good. Um, okay, so alligator. Good. Yay! Thank you for um, sharing with us. You want to do the alligator pose. All right, so I want everyone on their tummies, okay? Arms out in front of you, and I'm going to read the alligator. Aubrey, okay. Um, okay, alligator. Here we go. Resting on my belly, a hungry alligator am I. Open and shut go my palms as I snap at everything nearby. Okay, so you're gonna snap like an alligator, okay? And let's just do five snaps. One, two, just have some fun with it. Three, four, five. It doesn't have to be so serious. We're gonna, at the end we're gonna do our do nothing pose and we'll rest, but now let's just enjoy doing the yoga poses and get a nice stretch in our body and have some fun. All right, so I've gotta cruise back up to the top of this now and, um, and see who else we've got. Oh, look, we've got a lot of people from, um, and uh, from Columbus, Ohio. Okay, so we've got Ellis, John, and Lucy. Hi, guys. Okay, so you guys are from Columbus, Ohio. Wow. You know, my daughter went to uh, Kenyon College, which is in Ohio. So I used to go to um, Columbus a lot. 
So um, I love Columbus, Ohio. So let's do around the world and see what's in there for Ellis. Now, Ellis, what, what letter of the alphabet do you think starts with the letter with, with Ellis's first name? Hmm. I think it's an E for Ellis. Okay, so let's see what is the E in this book. Huh. Let's just see. Oh, great. And you know, I, I'm going to do it a little differently so you guys can see it better. I'm learning as we go along. Okay, so here we go. E is for Egypt. Wow. Okay, Ellis, this is going to be fun. So let's do the Sphinx pose and I'll read you about it. So here we go. Okay, Marhaba, from this Mediterranean country where Egyptian Arabic is spoken and which is home to the mysterious Sphinx of Gonza. Did you know it was the Sphinx of Gonza? Wow. Okay, so I'm going to read you how to do the Sphinx pose, and I want you guys to do it. Another one where you're on your tummies. We seem to be doing a lot of those today. We did the shark pose. We did, what else did we do? The cobra pose. So now we're doing the Sphinx pose. The Egyptian Sphinx is part lion and part man. Made of stone, I lie still on my belly in the sand. With legs straight and forearms pressed firmly into the ground, I look forward frozen in time without making a sound. So don't make a sound. Really quiet. For one, really quiet. Two, puff your chest out. Three, four, five. Good. All right. So here we go. Now we've got John. Okay, so what letter of the alphabet does John start with? Hmm. J. That's right. So let's do see what John. John from Columbus, Ohio. Oh, look at this. This is very pretty. And you know, this is the season now for the Japanese uh, cherry blossom trees. Okay, so here we go. Look how pretty that is. So let's read about it. Okay. Konichiwa from Japan. Home to the beautiful cherry blossom trees which bloom in the spring and draw crowds of admiring people to parks, gardens, and riversides. Wow. All right, let's read how to do the tree pose. Although I think we all, we did the tree pose earlier in commemoration of, um, of Earth Day, remember? But let's do it again because guess what? The more you do something, the better you get at it. So let's do it again. Tree. I am an old and solid tree. My roots grow deep into the ground beneath me. Bending one leg, I bring my foot to my thigh. Balancing can be tricky, but I'll give it a try. I focus my sight on a single spot. Yoga improves my concentration a lot. Now, remember what I said about doing things on both sides of your body. So I want you guys to switch sides, do the opposite leg, okay? And then, if you want, in the tree pose on the opposite leg, you can bring your arms up like this, okay? If you want, if you want, you keep them in prayer position, but if you want, just bring them up in the air, drop your shoulders down, and let's just count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Nice job. Okay, come back down. And then, who else do we have here? Oh, and then we have Lucy. Okay, so Lucy's from Columbus, Ohio, too. So let's see what L is for. Well... Do you guys know? Um, can you guess what country starts with the letter L? By the way, all these countries in this book that I wrote participate in International Kids Yoga Day. And if you guys don't know what that is, Tracy's going to put the link for it into the chat box, which is kidsyogaday.com. You should investigate it. It happens the first Friday every April. We just had it. And we have tens of thousands of kids all around the world practicing yoga on the same day at the same time. So anyway, this one country participated. All these did, but guess what country participated that starts with the letter L? Liberia. Wow. So let's see about Liberia. Hello from Liberia, where you can find African elephants and the official language is English. So they speak English there and they have elephants. So let's do the elephant pose. A mighty and powerful elephant am I, while standing, I fold forward and then lumber by. Interlacing my hands and gently swinging my trunk, I begin to mo move slowly, each step making a thunk. So let's move slowly. This is very good for your hamstrings, stretching them out. Have a little fun. In fact, I have this song called The Elephant Circus Parade that I'll have to play with for you guys. Maybe I'll do it next week. And we'll do the elephant pose to it. That'll be fun. We'll play a little game next week with that. Okay, so... Everyone thunking around a little bit with your elephant trunk? Okay, freeze. Now back to easy pose. Let's all sit down in easy pose. Just take a deep breath into your nose. And out through your nose. 
So that is so fun. Okay, so let's see who else is here. Oh, so Aver and um, Heidi are here. Good. Okay, so Aver, um, your name starts with the letter A. We've already done the A from this book. Let's see what starts with the letter A in the ABCs of Yoga for Kids. We already did the alligator, so we're going to do the airplane pose. Now, what I want you guys to do, this is the kind of fun thing to do with the airplane pose. I want you to get in the pose. Once you're in the pose and I've read the instructions, I want you to stay in it, and I want you guys to yell out where you want to fly to. Because I know we can't go anywhere right now because we're all kind of stuck at home, but when this is all over with and you can go anywhere you want in the world, let's just shout out where we want to go when once we I tell you to, okay? Once we've read the poem. It's a fun thing to do, okay? Use our imaginations. So let's do airplane. I am an airplane heading for the sky. Lifting my chest, arms, and legs, I begin to fly. Now yell out right now, all of you, where you want to fly to. With your parents, everyone, just yell out where you want to fly to. Raise your arms. You know where I want to fly to? I want to fly to Hawaii, and I want to sit in the sun. All right? So that's where I want to go. So um, where do you guys want to go? Anyone want to tell me where they want to go? Um, you can put that in the comment box or not, or just shout it out. And... Um, I think it's really, oh, and thank you, Tracy, for um, putting about uh, Kids Yoga Day. Oh, and the girls love hearing their names. I'm so excited. Okay, so anyone want to comment to me where they're flying to? Um, I'm, I'm flying to Hawaii because I want to go sit in the sun and relax. I love Hawaii. Um, anyone else want to go anywhere? Um, let's just see the beach. Yeah, yeah, you know that. We can't go to the beach right now, too. It's so sad. I, I live in Los Angeles near the beach, and I can't go because they've closed down the beach. But um, anyone else want to tell me where they want to go? Oh, Caribbean. Yeah. Oh, my God. That sounds amazing. To the park. I want to go to the park, too. Oh, okay. So who says, Emma, I want to do something fun with you. You said you wanted to go to the park. Guess what we're going to do instead? I can't t tell you you can go to the park, but I can help you out. You know why? You know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to practice this pose with you that will make you feel like you're at the park. Because I, I love going to the park myself. But here, guess what? Let's pretend we're at the park, okay, in honor of, um, oh, Charlotte wants to go to Mexico, the Caribbean, to the park, Emma. So this is for Emma. Emma, let's do the slide pose, okay, because we're going to pretend we're at the park. So slide. To form a slippery slide, I sit with bent knees. Then I bring my arms behind me with ease. Straightening my legs and lifting my hips, I gaze with eyes forward. A smile comes to my lips. Okay, so we're smiling. So let's just pretend we're at the park, okay? And soon enough, you're going to be there, I promise you, okay? Thanks, Emma. Okay, oh, someone wants to go to El Salvador. Cool. And Aubrey's headed to Florida to see family and go to the beach. Yay! And Tracy says she's going to see me in Hawaii. Can't wait. Charlotte wants to fly to Mexico. Okay, good. I'm so glad. Well, that's kind of fun. It gives us something to look forward to. All right, so let's go back and see my friends and see where I am with everyone's name. Um, who did I do? I've got the people tell me about the shark. Let me see the tree. Um, all right. Um, oh dear. Um, well, okay. I, I'm, I'm losing a, a bit about this, but, um, I'm not the best at this, but I see Hendrix. We have not done Hendrix. Um, so let's do him. His name starts with the letter H. Hendrix starts with the letter H. Let's see what starts with the letter H today. Okay. So let's just see. Um, Okay. H is for hungry. So guess what kind of dog that is. Does anyone know what kind of dog comes from hungry? I'm going to tell you. Okay, let's do it. Okay, it says Shiza from Budapest, the capital of Hungary, where you might meet a Vizla. That's the kind of dog that is in Hungary. Can you guys say it? A Vizla? A type of Hungarian hunting dog. So they have hunting dogs in Hungary. Wow, you learn something new, don't you? So let's do the dog pose. Okay, it's a very good stretch for your hamstrings dog. I am a dog stretching after a nap. On my hands and knees, I begin to yap. Straightening my legs and lifting my hips, I spread each and every one of my fingertips. Looking down, I can see my toes as I focus on breathing in and out through my nose. Okay, so look down at your toes. So your gaze should be at your toes. Don't look up through your arms. Look down at your toes, okay? I want everyone to be looking down at their toes. And, and then um, let's just count to eight. So stay in this pose, just like you're getting a nice dog stretch. You know, I don't know how many of you have dogs, but let's just count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Okay, come back up. 
Now, who remembers what pose I love to send you guys back to in between? Hmm, which one is it? Starts with letter E. Okay, if you said easy pose, you're right. All right, so we are now in easy pose. And um, let's see. Okay, so, oh, I've got uh, Krish from Ohio. Another person from Ohio. Wow, that's so exciting. All right, so Krish. Now, Krish's name sounds like it might start with the letter C, but guess what? It doesn't because I saw it being spelled. So it starts with the letter K. So let's see what um, pose starts with the letter K. Let's just look. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. This, oh, you're going to love this, Krish. This is such a fun pose to do. And it's good for your vocal cords and it'll get a little aggression out, you know, because we're all kind of pent up and we need to get a little aggression out. So here we go. K is for Kenya and for the lion pose. So let's read about it. Let's read how to say hi in, because remember, we're learning how to say hi in all these different languages from all the countries, if you've been noticing. So let's learn how to say hi in, in, in Kenya. It is jumbo, jumbo, jumbo. Jumbo from Kenya, where Swahili is spoken. So Jumbo is hello in Swahili. Can you guys say Swahili? Um, is spoken, and the African lion proudly roams the grasslands. How many of you been to Kenya? I would love to go on a safari. That's another place I'd like to go if I were going to be able to go somewhere. Maybe I'd like to go to a safari in Africa. That'd be fun. See all these wild animals, giraffes and lions. All right, so let's do the lion pose, okay? So lion. I kneel on my shins with my chest on my thighs. Getting ready to spring forward, I look to the sky. I give a mighty roar on the count of three. The new king of the jungle. Yes, a lion. That's me. All right. So on the count of three, you know, yoga is about being quiet and relaxed and strengthening and toning your body. But it's also sometimes about just making a lot of noise. It's good for your vocal cord. So on the count of three, I want you guys to stretch forward and roar like a lion. One, two, three, roar! Felt good, huh? It feels good to me. Kind of clears your throat up a bit, right? Okay. Uh, oh, thanks for a fun class. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so let's just see if there's anyone else that we're going to, um, we're going to do. Um, and then we have to do, I really want to get to the um, end and then do our, our gratitude thing at the end. So in, in case people have to leave. So I want to get um, to make sure that we got everyone's um, names here that we wanted to do. Okay, so hi from um, um, Anvi. And okay, Dominic from Ontario, uh, Canada. Let's do Dominic, and then we'll do Anvi, and then we will do our um, our closing sequence. Okay, so Dominic. Okay, so let's see from Ontario, Canada. Wow, let's see. Dominic starts with the letter D. Oh, we've done Denmark already. So let's do another pose that starts with the letter D from the ABCs of Yoga for Kids. Okay, so D is for. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, we have not done this today. And I think you will like it. It's the dinosaur pose, okay? So the dinosaur walk is fun to do. Anyone can do it, even me and you. Standing up tall, I slightly bend my knees. I grab hold of my ankles and relax and at ease. Then I walk slowly, lift, lifting one leg at a time, knowing all the while that I'm doing just fine. Okay, so grab hold of your ankles and do some dinosaur walk. Just walk like a dinosaur, clunk, 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 and then back into easy pose. Now, today we've had so many people that um, name starts with the letter A. So the last one we're going to do is, um, is Anvi. Now, um, we've already done all the A poses. So I'm going to give Anvi a choice, okay? So I'm going to scroll down the bottom, and I'm going to give you a choice, Anvi, if you want to do the airplane pose again the alligator pose again, or Anvi, if you want to do the A is for Australia and the koala pose. So I'm going to give you, everyone else that's an easy pose, just take a deep breath in through your nose, count to five, and then exhale through your nose while we're waiting for her response. And then after that, we're going to do the do nothing pose and then our gratitude, and then we're done. So let's see if she's going to tell us which one she wants to do, if she's here still. She may have had to leave. Some people have to leave. That's fine. You know, people can come and go. Um, but let's just see if she's going to tell us which one she wants. i um, not sure. Otherwise, I can just pick one and we can do it one more time. Um, hmm. So everyone else, just take a deep breath in through your nose and we're going to count to five. So inhale for one, two, 
three, four, five. Hold your breath. And exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Remember the breathing fun we have? Okay. Oh, airplane. Oh, thank you so much for still being here and telling us. So let's do the airplane one more time. Now, if you want to shout out one more time in case you didn't do it before where you want to go, maybe you want to go somewhere else too, because actually there's other places I probably want to go besides Hawaii. So I might shout out a different one too. So let's get on our tummies, bring our airplane wings out to the side and lift your arms and your legs. And on the count of three, everyone shout out at once where you want to go. One, two, three, London. I want to go to London. I, I mean, I still want to go to Hawaii, but I want to go to London because um, my illustrator actually from the little mouse books from London and um, I just love it. I, I went to school there when I was younger. So anyway, there we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I want you guys to do the do nothing pose, okay? So just for a moment, because it's always nice. I give you guys a lot of poses to do here. Do you realize we, we get a lot of um, poses in in a short amount of time. So the best part of this whole yoga practice is to relax in the do nothing pose. I'm gonna play my um, song that I always play and I want you guys to just lie down for a minute, okay? Just for, it's, it's this song is so short. Just for the length of the song, I want you guys to, um, to just um, relax and take a deep breath into your nose. Here we go. Okay, here we go. And then close your eyes and just do nothing, okay? Just for the, the length of the song and just Here's relax, okay? To wash worries away. I just start to give thanks for the best of my day. The soles on my feet touch. As I gaze straight ahead, my hands rest on my shoulders as my butterfly wings spread. Butterfly flutters by all my cares. Just floating by butterfly, so so high. I spread my wings and fly. I spread my wings and fly. to slowly roll over to one side. If you really were lying down there relaxing in, in the do-nothing pose, you should feel pretty relaxed right now. It's a nice way to simulate everything that you've done and recharge your body. All right, but we're going to transition back and you're going to come back to the easy pose. And what I want you guys to do just quickly, if you have to leave, that's fine too. But let's just tell each other what we're grateful for because it's a nice way to end our yoga practice. So I'll start. So I am so grateful to have this opportunity every Wednesday to meet you guys virtually and to teach you guys yoga and to um, find out all about where you're from and, and your names. And um, I'm just really grateful about that. It's, it's very fun for me. So what is anyone else grateful for? And we can just do a little shout out here if you want. Oh, what is the song name, please? Okay, it's called the Butterfly Song. Tracy, can you please put the link to that song on here? Uh, Tracy, it will put the, the link to the song um, on, on here. It's called the butterfly song by Teresa power, which is me. You can also find it on my website, abcyogaforkids.com. I have a bunch of yoga songs on there and you can find it, um, there in our shop as well in our store. Um, so anyone else, uh, going to, um, 
thank you. Okay, so anyone want to tell me what they're grateful for? I'll just wait a moment and we can just sit in easy pose and breathe in out through our nose and then we'll we'll sign off until next week. Um, Charlotte says she's grateful to have a nap later. Oh, wow. Okay, that's <laughs> that's great news. Yes, that would be really good. I, I may have to have a nap later too myself. So let's see. Anyone else want to tell me what they're grateful for? Um, that's a good one, um, Charlotte. So let's just see if anyone else wants to be grateful for, you know, their, their family, their friends, whatever you feel like, your pets. And um, I'll just wait a little longer. And then, like I said, we'll sign off. And I can't wait to see you guys all next week. It's just so much been such a pleasure teaching you guys all. Okay. Um, I'm so happy to meet you. Well, I'm happy to meet you too. Yay. I wish I could see everybody. But, you know, I'm happy to meet you guys all virtually. So we have to think good things come of this pandemic is that we all get to gather together in unusual ways. So let's see. Uh, can you please say hi? to um shivani hi shivani how are you i'm so glad that you're here today um and um thanks for the wonderful class you're welcome someone else said thank you thank you guys for being here i mean it means a lot for me to have you guys here um and then uh tracy just put um the um the link for to find the songs and could you please tell me where I can get the book and flashcards? Yes, um, you can get the book at um, abcyogaforkids.com as well, or you can get it on amazon.com, both the book and the flashcards. So the book is called, uh, the flashcards are just the ABCs of Yoga for Kids learning cards. And Tracy, again, will put the link up for you guys. And if you go to Amazon, the book, and then this book, I don't know which book you're interested in, but you can find them all on Amazon. This is the um, Around the World, the ABCs of Yoga for Kids Around the World. And then the other book is just called the ABCs of Yoga for Kids. So, um, okay, and then click, okay, so she um, gave you all the instructions on how to uh, find all that for you guys. So it's all in the comment link. But I, I love having the comments. I love having all you kids. I love like learning your names and spelling the yoga alphabet. And um, so next week, we will just come back again and um, same time, and we will um, do the same thing. So same time, Wednesdays, 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern time. And then I don't know, um, Canada, I think you might have a time difference, and there's people from all over the place. So you, you guys can figure out the time zone. But anyway, it's going to be the same, and let's just all get through this together and do yoga and have some fun. And I'm really looking forward to um, seeing you guys next week. Okay, goodbye, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Okay, bye.